Hello children. In this video, we will see some interesting examples of comparing fractions. Babban has sown 12 pumpkin seeds in his field. A few days later, he saw plants growing from those seeds. Babban became very happy. Now, Babban started thinking that when 12 pumpkins grow out of those plants, he will give one fourth of them to Barbole uncle. He makes very tasty pudding of pumpkin. Children, can you tell how many pumpkins Babban will give to uncle? In one fourth, we have to divide our whole into four equal parts. Here, we have a total of 12 pumpkins. So we have 12 pumpkins as our whole. We will divide them into four equal parts. If we make four equal parts of 12 pumpkins, then how many pumpkins will be there in each part? Exactly three pumpkins. Now, what will we do to get one fourth part? Take one part out of these four equal parts. In this way, three pumpkins are one-fourth part of twelve pumpkins. Babban will give three pumpkins to uncle. Now Babban is thinking that he will give two-third part of twelve pumpkins to Chanda as she is his best friend. Can you tell if Babban will give more pumpkins to uncle or Chanda? You can find the answer by stopping the video. Well done children! You have found the perfect answer. First, we will find the number of pumpkins that Chanda gets. To find two-thirds of twelve pumpkins, we have to divide twelve pumpkins into three equal parts. In this way, there were four pumpkins in each part. Now, to find two-third parts, we have to take two parts out of these three equal parts. In this way, two-thirds of twelve pumpkins is eight pumpkins. Babban will give one-fourth part of twelve pumpkins or three pumpkins to uncle and two-thirds of twelve pumpkins or eight pumpkins to Chanda. In this way, Babban will give more pumpkins to Chanda. Children, in other words, we can say that the fraction one-fourth is less than two-third. Babban returned home happily thinking of this. Now, he is at home thinking that he will grow 20 carrots in his field. When those carrots are grown, he will give two-fifth part of it to Bunny and half to Golu. Children, can you tell how many carrots will Bunny get? Is that more than the number of carrots Golu gets? If you wish to, you can stop the video and find the answer. Well done children, you have found the perfect answer. To find 5 parts of 20 carats, we will divide 20 carats into 5 equal parts. In this way, there will be 4 carats in each part. Now, to find 2 fifth part, we have to take 2 parts out of these five equal parts. In this way, two fifth parts of twenty carrots will be eight carrots. Babban will give eight carrots to Bunny. Let us see how many carrots will Babban give to Golu. To find half of twenty carrots, we have to divide them into two equal parts and then one part has to be taken from it. In this way, 10 carrots will be half of 20 carrots. Babban will give 8 carrots to Bunny 
and 10 carrots to golu hence bunny will get lesser carrots than golu in this way we can see that the fraction 2/5 is less than half babban became happier thinking about all this now babban is thinking that when he sells his vegetables in the market he will get a lot of money out of that money he will buy 25 laddus with some money out of those 25 laddus he will eat 3/5 of it in a single day can you tell how many laddus will he eat in a day you can find the answer by pausing the video well done kids your answer is absolutely correct to find 3/5 of 25 laddus we will first divide the 25 laddus into 5 equal parts in this way there will be 5 laddus in each part now to find 3/5 we will take 3 parts out of these 5 parts in this way 3/5 of 25 laddus are 15 laddus babban fell asleep thinking about laddus children in this video we saw some interesting examples of comparing fractions